Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we will be reading True Off My Chest. Our first post is by Expensive Concept. I made a comment to my ex-husband when we signed our divorce, and his girlfriend now accuses me of being the reason he didn't propose to her on Christmas. Hello and Happy New Year. My ex-husband and I, both late 40s, were a real love story for 17 years. He was my world and I loved everything about him. I thought he loved me too but about two years ago for about two months he was changed. The change was so palpable that I knew it in my heart that it was another woman. He stopped kissing me good morning or good night, stopped asking me on dates and always declined when I did. He didn't doze off with his head in my lap to a movie every evening always missing the end. Now he even sat on the other couch. He stopped saying he loved me and he stopped texting me during the day. I didn't know what to do other than wait and see, and sure enough after two months, he told me he was in love and wanted a divorce. I was heartbroken but I couldn't do anything about it. I would never beg someone to love me no matter how much I loved them. He moved out and started the divorce. His new girlfriend, early 30s moved in with him not long after. My ex-husband is very successful, and our divorce was finalized a couple of weeks ago. I haven't seen my ex-husband much since he moved out. I don't know what got into me. I have kept civil and prideful during the separation. I was surprised that he was with his lawyer because I thought he just signed and didn't need to be there. I signed and then I looked at him for the first time in two years, and just without giving myself the time to stop and keep my dignity, I smiled and said that he now lost the last woman who he would know for sure ever loved, and saw him for him and not for his money or assets. He was too smiling at first, probably relieved that I finally was fine enough to look at him again. He complained to our son that I never looked at him anymore. His smile faltered and turned into a shock, then he started crying. I was terrified of what I did and just left almost running. I got a text from his girlfriend this morning with many insults about me, my character and my looks and age. Because he was supposed to have proposed on Christmas with all family present but he didn't. He now refuses to talk about it with her or any of her family and she means that it was my fault. I ruined their relationship. I blocked her but I can't help but wonder if I really did ruin their relationship. I even wonder if I care. All I know is that he looked so old and pathetic. I wonder if I ever really knew him or loved him. Our next post is by Constant Nebula. My soon-to-be ex-husband humiliated me on our wedding day and met his karma instantly. It has been two days since my wedding day. I had already been with him for four years, one year of which I was engaged. It all started a few months earlier when I noticed my husband Jake watching prank videos. Among other things, these videos showed embarrassing photos of the bride being played on a projector in front of the whole room, or the bride's face being smashed into the cake. I told him straight away that I didn't want anything like that at our wedding. He just laughed and said that he wasn't planning anything like that. I thought that was the end of it but I kept catching him making strange arrangements with his friends. He suddenly wanted to choose the wedding photographer and the cake. I thought nothing of it, and was just glad that he was helping me with the wedding preparations. Nevertheless, I reminded him the day before that if he did something like that, I would break up with him immediately. When the day of the wedding came, everything went smoothly until the ceremony, until the moment came when the cake was to be cut. The whole room watched as I made the first cut, and the photographer stood in front of us with camera in hand. Suddenly, I felt a hand on the back of my head pushing me face first into the cake. Not only my makeup but the whole wedding dress was ruined and the whole room laughed, my husband the loudest. At that moment the photographer took the photo, and Jake said that this was now our wedding photo. I turned around, slapped him in the face and ran out of the room in tears. Thank God karma didn't take long to arrive and came in the form of his own brother. I ran to the toilet and started crying when I suddenly heard loud shouting from the hall. It was his brother Frank. I could barely understand what he was saying and when I left the toilet he was waiting for me. He told me that Jake had something to tell me. Jake was shaking and apologized without looking me in the eye. Frank told him to look me in the eye and apologize again. Even I was a bit scared of Frank at that moment because I had always thought of him as a kind and gentle man. I had never seen him angry before. Jake apologized again. And then Frank led us back into the hall which was suddenly very quiet and most of our families looked down at the floor a little embarrassed. The festivities were cut short, and I was taken home by Frank because I was too angry with my husband and I didn't want to see him. During the ride, Frank apologized for blowing up like that. 
He explained that my husband was horrible even back when he was a brother and used every special occasion to humiliate Frank. When it was Frank's birthday, my husband would throw his cake at him and break his presents. But back then, their parents always brushed it all off by saying that that's just how brothers behave. So he had to endure every humiliation. But when he saw my husband bury my face in the cake, he was fed up because he realized that my husband was just a bad person who got his satisfaction from humiliating others. I asked Frank if he thought it would be an exaggeration if I separated from my husband, and he said no, because according to him I deserved better, and he didn't care how his brother felt about it because he had brought it on himself. Then he told me that if I needed help collecting my things he would help me and gave me his number, and I decided to separate from him and file for divorce and inform Jake and my family about it. Jake just told me not to do that because it was just a harmless prank. I was spammed by both his family and mine that it would be ridiculous to end our marriage over this. But I see it differently. If he does something like this to me despite multiple requests not to do it even after promising he wouldn't do it, then I can't trust him, no matter what he promises me. I have to assume that the opposite can and will happen, and that he doesn't care at all how I feel about his decisions. This situation can be projected onto so many much worse situations where it would be important for me to be able to trust him. His brother Frank seems to be the only one who supports me now, and I will go through with the divorce. Call me humorless, call me what you want but I have given my reasons. Our next post is by Open Lychee. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% not my dad's son. For as long as I can remember, my parents' marriage has been happy and stable. They were high school sweethearts and my dad proposed to her at their senior prom, or so they say. Nowadays they're your stereotypical old couple, just as in love as the day they married. For Thanksgiving one of my friends bought DNA kits for our whole friend group. He's super into genealogy and family trees, and wanted to share his hobby I guess. I just got my results back, and my biological father was found. Except he's not the man who I grew up calling my dad. He's some rondo from New Jersey. He hasn't reached out to me and I have no intention of reaching out to him. I have to admit he does look like me, but he doesn't look like my sister at all. That means that either my sister is my dad's real daughter, or that my mom cheated multiple times. I do know that my dad's family has a history of fertility issues, and that his identical twin brother can't have kids at all. I don't want to blow up my parents' lives, and regardless of my DNA, my dad is still my dad, he raised me and loved me like his own, and that's all that matters to me. But there's a voice in the back of my mind telling me to tell my dad deserves to know that his wife cheated and that he raised another man's child. But then, will he ever look at me the same? What if he disowns me out of rage? And what about my mom? She lives off his pension and home business. But she's a cheater, so maybe I shouldn't consider her feelings. I don't know, I had to tell someone, so I figured Reddit might be a good place. I'm going to think about what I should do for a while before taking any drastic action. I have the power to destroy my parents' lives and I don't take that lightly. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.